Hello comrades and welcome back to Novice. Before we get started, I just want you all to look at this for a second. I am glad that I put in those accumulators, but it's starting to look like, well, maybe it's not enough. Uh, the production is not keeping up with demand, even though we haven't been researching anything since the end of last episode. Part of that is the fact that the base is still sort of recovering um, from what we've used, and we are still buffering up things like the uh, electric mining drills, or sorry, the electric uh, 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 furnaces. Part of it is the fact that We've added a whole bunch of uh, machinery, which consumes electricity and is still consuming electricity in the sort of off time here. Um, but it's a lot of mining. Um, now the accumulators dropped off when uh, when that filled up, but we are just barely under the cutoff uh, for the other machinery to turn on. We have 23 out of 40, and of course, uh, it's this is going to be, you know, problematic, right? Because it's it's got to get back into there. But we'll see what happens when that happens. I mean, there's a non-zero chance that it uh, doesn't grab them in time, and instead the inserter, you know, instead the uh, the the good uranium goes past and gets all used up. Uh, at least we'll have power for a while when that happens, but we are not researching anything until, until you know, uh, we're not researching anything until we have the nuclear power up. Um, now, part of the reason it's pegged is the fact that the accumulators are drawing charge, uh, and it will get better when the accumulators stop drawing charge, and also it will get better... Uh, as soon as the uh, uh, the base buffers back up, as I previously mentioned, but we still have things to do. Um, we're not going to be researching anything, but there are still things that we've got to do, and in doing those things, we are going to invite more power draw. I don't know yet. Um, one of those things is to belt this steel out of here. So that so you know that's that's a place to start. Um, this steel has got to get taken over to uh, about here, where it's going to get split off and then sent over there. This steel is just for the low density structure, and I mean we may find more use for it later, but right now it's just for the low density structure. This is gonna come out here. Oh no! Don't don't do that. We're we're chopping the trees down. We're not going under them. I like the trees, but I like them in in the way that uh, you know Ronald McDonald likes cows. Okay. Um, let's stop that right there. And. Yeah, let's figure out what the best way to do this is, because I can duck this under there, and half of this is going to be plastic, and half of it's going to be steel. So, we need to set up the half steel side, and then we need to belt some plastic over here, and we probably need to buff the heck out of our plastic um, production. Which might end up, uh, you know, causing another bottleneck up the up the way, or, or revealing another bottleneck up the way. Because if we're, you know, doing plastic production here, I mean, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's do some math again, because these, it's seven and a half per, seven and a half uh, things per side, and these uh, craft plastic. Where's plastic? It's in here. These craft plastic at, oh, okay, one per second. So, 
having six of these is acceptable. If we're consuming the whole belt, then it's acceptable. Um, now here's the thing. This is not ideal, and it's not helpful. Um, the fact that it comes down here when we need it to go straight across, I don't know how we're going to reconcile that. Part of me says you should just flip it around, have the plastic come in on one side, have the uh, circuits come in on now what will now be the other. Part of me says leave it how it is and just pull a belt back up to here. Ooh. Uh, just double it up through here and then and then go. Another part of me says screw it, just run an extra belt up here and have it break down to uh, one side either back here or over here. Uh, the thing is, we don't need plastic going up this way. doesn't matter, but we don't need it. Uh, we don't need plastic going down this way, and that does matter. The easiest way to do this would probably be to add... Um, would be to add a splitter probably right here or here. Um... And either have it feed onto the appropriate side of the belt. Which, yeah, that would probably be the easiest way to do it. Um, here, if I cut that right there. If I have it feed onto the appropriate side of the belt, which is right here. Um, what's the easiest way to do this and make it not look terrible? Hold on. Hold on. Let's let's just rethink this for just a second, because the fact that the green circuits are on this side of the belt is sort of what's uh what's what's doing me in here. And they are on the correct side as far as uh everything else goes. I could I could just give myself a little bit more room. Oops. And then this right there. Okay, I mean, same same deal, right? Just a little bit different, a little bit more space to breathe in the middle here. Um, now the other thing I could do is if I pull this back to here, loop it around, tuck it in. Hello, train this back to here. Oh no, I can't actually loop it around because I just don't have the room for that. Um, hmm. Best way to do it without... Hello, train. Alright, we're going to need to double track some of the stuff. The trains are getting busy. Um, huh. Now the other thing is that this gets carried through to here on an on its own belt. Um, so if I were to do this, excuse me, if I were to do this, and then I were to do this, for example, and then pipe the plastic in that way, that still maintains exactly what I was doing to begin with. Okay, I don't see any trains moving. Um... Still maintains exactly what we were doing, but if plastic were on both sides of the belt, it would not matter. And plastic on both sides of the belt is exactly what I'm aiming for. So let's um, reattach that. And then, I mean, I guess we'll just, <clears throat> do we use it down here or do we just go across the top? Honestly, it's kind of a tough question for me. It's such an insignificant, like, aesthetics-based question, which is why I should not be sitting here thinking about it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want this to be symmetrical. Um, because, man, have I not cared about aesthetics so far. 
Uh, I mean, have you seen the reactor area? Which, we've got 26. Okay, we're like two-thirds of the way there. How's power looking? It's looking fine right now. We are consuming some of our buffer, but it's looking fine. Um, we're going to need more oil, and we're going to need more uh, copper. I know I talked about the copper last time, but yeah, we are definitely going to need it. Okay. Do I keep this just going straight through the middle, or, or what? What do I do here? I'll just do that for now. I don't know. Um, it's ridiculous enough. Oh, shoot. No, it's not. If I do that, that's ridiculous enough. Okay. Somehow we have run out of inserters, once again. Palpatine returned. Uh, this is dumb. <laughs> I should change the way that looks. Okay, we're not researching anything. We this the belt uh, the the base this area of the base is pretty still. The steel is still chugging away because we're filling up those chests with uh, electric furnaces. Still, it's going to take a hundred years, and we'll get there. Um, we only have fifty-five electric poles, which I think is very disappointing. I'm just going to use up all my copper. Uh, okay. This is why my power system is a complete disaster. Okay, let's do that. Oh, and it takes coal, too. Ooh, I forgot about that. Coal is another perpetual problem right now. Uh, we are really... We are really chewing up that coal deposit that we have. And the other ones... I mean, they're either pretty far, pretty small, or are, like, begging for logistical problems to uh, come about as a result of wanting to use them. Okay, you need more pipes. And by logistical problems, I mean trying to force too many trains through the center subway. Oh, sorry, I've been talking about the MBTA too much lately. Trying to force too many trains through the, um... The, uh the main line through the base here. And we're already adding two more. Which is probably two more than we should be adding, all things considered. People that have watched, like, the last five episodes in a row are going to notice my voice slowly getting hoarser and hoarser. And it's not, you know, it's not your imagination. Uh, I've been recording nonstop for most of the day. Uh, no one is here to tell me not to. Ooh. No one is here to tell me not to. And more importantly, I really want to. <laughs> it's Factorio, right? Um, let's. We should have grabbed some underground pipes too, while we were at it. Give me those. What a beautiful base this is. I think to myself, what a wonderful base. Uh, okay. This is going to look real bad. Not any worse than the things that I've been making, you know, so far. But, you know. You should know what to expect by now. There we go. And now we have plastic on both sides of the belt. And we're probably going to be chewing up our supply of petroleum gas. Did I just lock myself in here? I can't get out. Help. Help. Somebody help. I can't get out. Um, okay. At least the plastic production really works. Um, the steel and plastic is the easy part of low density structure. The 60 copper a second, that's going to be the hard part. Okay. I think I have to move this guy over. Or something, because he's in the way. 
I didn't want to ruin the sector scanning progress, but alas. And now he has no power. How? Why is my base like this? Um... Okay, and we're going to need more belts, too. Belts, belts, belts. Ooh, I see the signals have turned. I, I was risking my life. Uh, belts go into the belts chest, which is right there. What is the, Oh, that's belts specifically for the green science. Earlier I realized that we were actually running low on red science. Um, which is an interesting issue to have at this point in the game. <clears throat> okay. And I just disconnected a good chunk of the base. Step across the railroad tracks very carefully. Oh, you know what? I was going to punch this through over here, but I guess I'll do this instead. I had a different plan in my mind when I, uh, when I, you know, when I did this, I was thinking I can put the splitter right here, run it under here, and then run it under here, and then go from there. Um, but this this works just as well. It does. It works just as well. Okay. So this is going to be, well, no, it's not. I was going to say it's going to be the first thing in here, but it is absolutely not. Um, it's going to go in like that. And this is going to go in like this. And then hopefully it'll uh, just work, TM. And then we need to figure out the copper, because, boy, that's going to be difficult. We might need to use the fast belts for it. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's think for a sec. We're going to need two belts. So, let's just... Let's do what we did in the other area. And instead of having it like that, have it like this. Okay. And then like that, and then like that. Like this. Like this. And because we want maximum throughput... Throughput... It is probably wise to add a couple of lane balancers before we balance the two. Um, do we make them symmetrical or do we make them identical? Identical, just one in my brain. Um, <clears throat> uh, okay, so we're going to have a belt come up here and a belt come up here. Oops. And this is going to duck under. And this is going to go here, and this is going to go here. Okay. Clear these trees. Boosh, taken care of. And then down this way. Take a left. Go over here. I mean, I guess it would be its right, not a left, but eh, whatever. Uh, and that's going to be our copper. And now we just need to manufacture all that copper, which probably means making a brand new uh, copper smelter over by the gigantic effing copper patch. Now, there's two problems with that. One, it's going to take coal, which we are really sucking up, like I mentioned at the top of the episode. Uh, and dose, it is going to anger the, the natives a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Okay, so at least we aren't uh, using our accumulator charge. We're, we're, I mean, we are, but we're like teetering on the edge. I'm impressed that we continue to use this much power right now, because we aren't even researching anything. 26 still. I thought I saw a bright one on the conveyor belt, but that was just uh, my imagination. Oh, man. 
I, I need it. I, we need the power. I mean, I just, I want to throw in speed modules just to make it go faster. But why do that when I could just make more centrifuges, right? I mean, yeah, I, I could add five more centrifuges and make it go almost twice as fast. I don't know if that is the wise decision because of what it is going to cost, but it is more efficient. It's more energy efficient than the speed modules. I mean, what? Speed module 2s, they they take 20%, oh, sorry, 60% more power for 30% more speed. Uh, so it's, you know, you get you get twice as much power consumption as speed increase. Or you could just add more machines and get exactly as much power increase as speed increase. So half as, you know, half as much. Um, it's just, do I want to build five more centrifuges because I am, uh, you know, because I am being impatient and I don't want to sit and wait between episodes. I could, and I did a little bit. I Between every episode, I sort of wander around a bit uh, and I just sort of check on things. I usually pull up old miners. Um, I look for, for bottlenecks or other problems that might be coming up. That one's done. These two are done. I don't know. I don't have any plans for what this area of the base will become uh, when we finally run out of materials to mine up here. But, eh, you know, it's here. We could add the other miner down... Um, we could add the other miner down in... Are they, there, there are a couple more lanes of miners that we could add down here in the uranium deposit. Um, I don't really think there's a reason for us to do that. A couple of them are, you know, all, all filled up. Um, but, I don't know. I think we need to start mining up that big copper patch. What, what copper patch do we have right now? We have this one. This is 1.6 million. It's not anything to shake a stick at. In fact, I... I even imagine that we could pull more out of it if we wanted to, but it just makes more sense to me to hook up the massive copper ore patch here that's already inside our walls. It's just... There's going to be a lot of aliens to fight if we do that. Um, what... What comes after? Is artillery after space science? No, it's not. It's this. I just need... I just need yellow. Shoot. We need to do that. We need to get some artillery. Um... Then, then, then we'll be dealing with a lot less of pain in the neck. Yeah, let's get some low-density structures done. Oh, shoot. Look what happened over here again. I thought we were done with this. Um... It doesn't really matter, but... Oh, this, this guy still has 208 coal to randomly suck up and dump on the belt. Okay. What is next, then? We've got this, yeah, we, I mean, copper, low-density structures, and then we have to worry about the other stuff. Um, so really, we should just be fixated on the getting the copper done, because that's another hurdle. And it won't be used for anything, but it will present a huge drain on power to mine up all that copper. And that's maybe the only thing I should be really concerned about. I don't know what my aversion is to just placing down more, uh, <laughs> placing down more, uh, steam engines. I mean, anyone who knows me knows that I'm a steam engine guy, but... I don't know. At this point, it's just like, I don't want to mess with it. I want to... I want to move to nuclear. There. Um, okay. 
There's still some dark spots in the middle here. Character is in the way. I can't, you know, push myself to the side with that. Um, okay, we're going to need a lot of miners. We're going to need a lot of burner... Not burner. We're going to need a lot of steel furnaces. So let's grab some of those. We're going to need a lot of long-handed inserters and regular inserters. So let's make... Uh, that's going to be a lot. However many that is, it's going to be a lot. Um, let's take a bunch of those. Uh, we're going to need copper plates and iron plates just for miscellaneous stuff. So, oops, missed. Copper plates. Uh, let's grab some gear wheels. Iron, or sorry, steel plates we have plenty of. Let's grab some iron plates. Yep. Um, let's throw this stone in here, and then this copper ore in here. Um, we're going to need a buttload of power poles, and we're also going to need a blueprint. So, let's go grab more belts, more underground belts, more splitters. Underground belts, splitters. Um, more belts, okay. Um, miners, right. Miners are down here. I'm slowly getting the understanding of how my base is set up. We're actually probably going to need a lot more than that, but that's going to be a good place to start. Let's go take a, um, let's go take a blueprint. The mining area is, is not something that I'm worried about blueprinting, but this... This is something that I am absolutely worried about blueprinting, because, boy howdy, is this a pain to build. Okay. We're just going to call it, we're just going to make it furnace. Uh, and then I'm going to open the blueprint book. Then I'm going to put this inside the blueprint book. Okay. Um... We are being attacked somewhere. Where was it? I don't know where it was. I hope it wasn't here. Oh, it's here. Look at that. There they come. Yeah, this is a place that I should get worried about. Because <laughs> uh, if they start chewing on that, despite the fact that we are still 26 away, damn it. I was hoping it would be, uh, you know, we, we would have gotten lucky and we would have more. Okay. Okay, uh, wait. Grab more mining drills and then we go. Mining drills up here. I know I should not say it out loud, but boy am I glad we did not get creamed by a train yet. Okay, that's a hundred. I think we should be okay. I think we're going to be okay. In terms of what we have on us. No, I should grab more. I should grab more inserters. We're going to need more inserters. Inserters. There we go. And might as well add some more accumulators while we're down there. I also don't want to do solar. Why? Because I just don't want to do it. Uh, where did I put the accumulators? Oh, down here. Accumulators. Give me those. I'd rather use them and steam engines than solar panels. It's a big, it's a resource hog to do solar. And they only help you half the time. I'm still surprised at, uh... Yeah. Rough. But part of that is keeping the accumulators fed. Or filled. Whatever. Same thing. Um... just make this bigger. I'm not sure we have ever filled up the accumulator banks. How many do we have left? Is that all of them? I don't see them in my inventory anymore. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's fine. And these are empty now. 
These are emptying. What is sucking up power? The mining drills are back on it again. I mean, when we are drawing power from the mi or for the mining drills, that's that's the biggest. Uh, that's by far the biggest draw in the entire base. 900k. Yeah, we're we're losing coal. Um, part of me wants to say I just box this whole area in, but I want artillery. Can we survive on the coal we have until I get artillery? I honestly think the answer is no. Um, but if the only things we research going forward are, you know, military for then artillery, maybe we can get away with it. Maybe. I think it remains to be seen. I don't know where that guy's going. He's going to fix something. Okay. Let's pick up the extra mining drills from here. A drop in the bucket in terms of the power we're using, but still. And I'll be able to reuse them. It's dark over here. This area of the base is a little spooky because it's still, you know, there's nothing here. It feels like we're outside. If I were to just put up a wall like this, I mean, I don't think it would be impossible. I think it'd be extremely possible, actually. And it would secure a lot for the future. I really, I have an affinity for squaring off the base. Just in a general sense. Oh, it's so dark. And the sunlight is shining onto my computer screen, and the, the brightness is always all the way up, and I still can't see anything. Oh, okay. Broke it a little. Um, let's see, which way do we want to angle it? Probably up and down? Yeah, let's do that. Um, okay, mining drills. We have Spartan 117 mining drills. Okay. Okay. Part of me says, don't, don't plug this in until you're ready to use it, because it's going to consume electricity. I mean, it says max consum consumption 90. It doesn't say a min consumption, so maybe they don't do anything when you're not using them. I, mm, I don't trust that, though. Especially because of just how much power they suck up. Just in general. It's starting to feel like we're not going to have enough. This patch is just too darn big. Okay. Yeah, don't plug this in until you're ready to use it, Ellis. Don't be dumb. And we... Yeah, we aren't going to have enough. That's insane. That's a lot of mining drills. This, this, I think, sort of is heralding... We're, we're going to need bigger trains, I think. I think this deserves a, a four... A four-car train, a 141, instead of a instead of what we got right now. But that's the thing. We're not going to be pulling copper ore out of here. We're going to be pulling copper out of here. And that makes a difference. Uh, I know it is one-to-one, -one, but it's just a, you know, it's a measure of how much we're going to need. Uh, and this is only set up to... Well... If I scooted the signals back, maybe I could fit a long train in there. And because of the volume of copper that we're going to need to move... I mean, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time for a long train. Fill this, fill these gaps in here. Is anyone kind of tripped out by the way that the everything flashes at once? It's like looking out on a giant field full of wind turbines. All of the, all of the red lights on there flash at the same time. It's a little spooky. I had never noticed it until Weibold pointed it out to me. 
Uh, yeah, it's a little spooky. It's a little surreal. Okay. Uh, we're going to need to clear this as well. I think we have enough wood. Just kidding. There's never enough wood. Okay. Uh, we will clean the extra trees up by hand. Also, we only have three grenades left. I don't want to waste them. You know, we can't get any more, so... Um... I think... Let me just... No, you know what? Because if I place a ghost, then the robots are going to be like, Oh, we'll help! Uh, okay. Um... One, two, three... And then that's going to be power poles, and then one, two, three... And then that's going to be... Yeah. This is going to be another belt of miners. I mean, it's, it'll be our last belt of miners, but that's going to be the other belt of miners. Um, let's see, we've got one, two, three, one, two, three. If we fold these in together, like this. Oops. Fold these in together. Oops. There. There. And then... There. Okay. And there. Okay. Wait a minute. No. Because these are, these are going to be too big for that. I can't put one here and then put one... Here. They won't fit. So... Let's reverse those and put two blocks with a nice big space in the middle. Well, but I do want to have some crossover between them, so maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe what I should do is actually just place them one up next to one another and see what happens after that. Like that and that. Yeah, fill it in. Go forth. Everything's still disconnected, so that's probably for the better. Or, and that's probably for the better. Um, so, I'm thinking, right? And I know that's dangerous. But I'm thinking... Tie that in like so. Bring this in like so. And then... You know what? Put that there. And that there. Uh, and actually, I want these to go the other direction, because it will have the coal come in from the top. This will go the other direction. This can go there. This can go there. Um... Oh, you know what? No, this one can scoot over. I think if we have these like this, it'll sort of work like a goofy balancer. <clears throat> it won't be great, but it'll work. And were we using... No, we're not using... Uh red belts to push through here. So, that's not super necessary. How are we doing on power, once again? Okay, so our accumulators are full, our production is lagging. That's very good. Hopefully it doesn't ramp back up at a moment's notice, but god, look at that for the last hour. Kinda crazy. Alright, we're gonna... Select all these, but we're going to not turn them on yet. Or we're going to connect, not select. Close, but not quite the right word. Now we've got over 100 power poles still. We are also going to need to put power to the area where we don't have mining drills yet. And boy, did I really think that we had enough. Uh, okay. I was so hopeful. 
I was so convinced. Okay. And this is all one... Oh, wrong thing. This is all one thing. I mean, I can turn on power network and I can see that everything is connected, which... Very good, very good. Uh, we're going to need coal and we're going to need output. Which, the output bit... And, I mean, both of them are going to be a little bit of a headache. We also have all of 68 rails, because I stuck all the rest of it in the tank, because I thought we'd be doing <sighs> base building stuff elsewhere, instead of inside the walls. I thought I was going to have to drive the tank to wherever we were doing base building. Um, 30! Okay, we're 75% of the way there. Nothing exciting on the belt, though. And then, you're back here loading up. How much is left here? Oh, 3.3 .3 million. Yeah, somehow I'm not worried about that. Um, okay. Okay. Coal. Coal is next. Doesn't need to be much. We can definitely feed this off of a single belt of coal. The only question becomes... Oh, crap. The only question becomes... How are we going to set up the train stations? Which, again, need to go and run to the other side of the base to get more rail. Because I threw a whole bunch of stuff in the tank. I don't really know why... I don't know what compelled me to do that. Um... I think, I think if we put the train stops over here, it will make a little bit of sense. And I should leave three. I should leave one for coal, one for copper and uh, copper ore, and one for uh, copper plates out. I guess. But we need to go get rail so we can figure that out. We're almost at the end of the episode, too. At least I feel like we made progress today. There have been there have been the last couple of episodes where I, I feel like we're just sort of wandering around waiting for stuff to happen that's not totally in our control. And in this case, I'm I'm taking hold of our destiny, right? I'm saying we are working on this. We are we are going to make low density structures. We are going to push for artillery. And uh, hopefully we don't destroy the base in the process. And run out of coal and then run out of power. Where's my tank? Oh, it's down there. Oops. So, yeah. We're going to have to do some taking care of business in the neighborhood at some point. Uh, the walls will probably hold up for a while, but I think the biggest deal is, in as far as expansion goes, either we take this giant coal patch and call it a day, which is not unreasonable, or we box this whole area off and take this coal patch. The reason I'm leaning towards the big box is, one, it gets us a whole bunch more stuff, even if we're not really going to use it. Uh, and two... It allows us to bring the train in from a different direction. Because we could build a bypass that just avoids this whole thing. We could go, I mean, not around the lake to the south, but in order to not pipe another train through here, it might be wise to do this one so we can come in from this direction so that we can add a rail line that just does that. Uh, it's going to be the only thing that uses that, but if it keeps it out of the the central line here, maybe that's good, you know? Maybe that's something we should be doing. Honestly, what we would do is we'd probably just come off here, go straight down, and tie it onto here. And that's really what I'm leaning towards. The only thing that's a hiccup is the fact that this has water in the middle of it. It has a little lake in the middle of it. Uh, and it's got all these cliffs and things around. But honestly, that's not even that big of a deal. It would be easier to do a little box off of this than this. 
And now, honestly, I might do that instead. Do we do that next time? I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to grab all my rails out of this tank. And uh, we'll see about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Do the YouTube things. Check out the links in the description. This is the Admiral. Signing off.